Good morning, everybody. And I'm so excited to be back with you after a gap. But maybe sometimes gaps are good, right? There's a old saying which says, absence makes the heart grow fonder. So I hope your hearts are fonder and you're happy to see me like I'm happy to see you. And today <clears throat> I have a special session for you. And this has come out of my thinking. Um, you know, when you travel like this and you go to such nice places like the sacred forest and you know, you're walking up and down wonderful green valleys and you think a lot while you're enjoying nature, you get messages from there. One thing which you see in nature is that nature is always thriving. You know, you might think that nature is surviving. No, they're not only surviving, they are thriving. How do you like that? So what are we doing here in Empowering Morning Conversations, my dear friends? What are we doing here? We are learning to thrive. So let me just remind you, just in case you forgot. We want a life that comes to us with ease, joy and glory. And you know, when you are in nature, that's what you see. For them, it's all ease and it's joy. And it's so glorious, you know. Listen to the sound of the birds and the bees and everything and they're just thriving and you know, it's great to see butterflies after a long time. It's good to see fireflies after a long time. They managed to survive there in the jungle. Not only survive, but thrive also. So what are we doing here? Shifting from survival to the create mode, dissipating all the negativity we pick up from time to time from other people and the circumstances, becoming possibility seekers rather than complainers. And we are thereby increasing our focus and our energy. That's what we are doing here. Today, what are we doing? We are looking at something very, very interesting. Survive or thrive. So if you have a choice, which one would you choose? Survive or thrive? Hmm? So what is survive? Kurensa, would you do the honor of reading this out for everybody? Right, sir. Survive or thrive? Survive to continue to live or exist, especially after coming close to dying or being destroyed or after being in a difficult or a threatening situation. Now, so if you look at the way we live, even small little things are so threatening for us, no? That's why our brain number one is active and we are reacting all the time. Everything is threatening. If somebody disagrees with us, that is threatening, right? If somebody looks at us in a, you know, serious manner, that is threatening. Living in constant fear, you know, and surviving in traffic, that is threatening. So for sometimes for no fault of our own, we end up being in the survival mode, isn't it? And uh, where is our lady Shakti? Would you read the next one for me, please? Okay, sir. Try to grow, vigorously flourish. Vigorously. Sir? To grow vigorously. Vigorously flourish, to gain in wealth or possessions, prosper, to progress toward or realize your goal despite of because of circumstances. Interesting, isn't it? To grow vigorously. So if you go out into the wild, whatever may be the situation into mankind threatening and everything, they are still growing and flourishing. Of course, we made it difficult nowadays for nature to thrive. So even nature is trying to survive. You know, sometimes you'll see a little tree growing out of the concrete. There are many pictures on the Facebook. Yeah, so there is a crack in the wall and the plant is trying to grow from there. That's an example of surviving. To grow and to flourish. 
Now gain in wealth or possessions prosper, you know, instead of limiting, we want to grow, to progress towards a goal despite circumstances. Many times you tell people, hey, why don't you do something big? He says, yeah, what I'm doing is so difficult, so hard to survive here. You're talking about growing. How can I grow? See, so what happens to us in the survive mode? Tell me, there is an old saying, right? Kunain must be knowing it very well. If you don't grow, what happens? Kunain? Die. You stagnate. Yep. Step number one. And if you stagnate, ultimately what happens? Even water which stagnates, it becomes uh, rotten, stinking, you know. It becomes like a gutter. So, sometimes it's good to ask ourselves, you know, what are we doing? Are we growing or surviving? Right? I know so many people, you know, they, they wanted a job because they didn't have one. So, they chose a job because that's the only one they could find. And then they were trying to adjust, you know, live within my means. So I know a person who, yes, can answer. I think uh, uh, when you say, sir, to grow vigorously, again, uh, uh, for me, the grow means something else. And for others, grow could be something else, isn't it? Yeah, so we are not defining how you wish to grow, but you're growing vigorously in whichever way you want. Okay, thank you. You know, so survival may kya hota hai, the thought of growth doesn't come into the mind only. So there's this person I was coaching, and the person said to me, Bada mushkil hai, sir. I mean, I'm just managing to live within the salary I've got. I've got children also, yeah, why? You know. So I did a little time audit. Okay, so when I did the time audit, you know what is a time audit, right? Everybody, what time you get up, what do you do, this, 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 how much hours for work, blah, blah, blah. So we did that. So most of it naturally was survival activities, going for job, having bath, eating food, all that stuff. But at the end of it, we found that there were four hours that were remaining. And I'm not talking about the sleep time. So I said, what do you do in that time? So that person says, no, I just relax at that time. Okay. Like you guys could be relaxing at this time, no? early in the morning, seven o'clock. So I said, why are you not using that four hours of yours to create something in your life? You didn't have an answer for that. Do you think about that? He had the time to do some activities which would make him thrive. But most of the attention of this gentleman was only on how to survive within my means. You know, end of the month, how much money will I have left? Nothing. How will I survive up to the payday which is on the 7th? And in that four hours, he wanted to feel relieved. So he was relaxing. So where is the growth possible? So what was he doing? He was looking for how to cut his costs, you know, how to reduce his expenses and live within the means. Now, does it have anything to do with creating the life? If all the time you're only thinking how to cut costs and how to reduce expenses, how to live within your means. Of course, if you don't have enough money, you have to do that. There's no choice, right? But you have time to do other things also, no? So somewhere what happens to us is that without realizing it, we've kind of accepted the idea in our own mind that life is about survival and not for thriving. So I have a question that you can ask to yourself. Okay, interesting question. 
ask the question, see what you get. So where am I living? Or where am I? See, we have a lot of trust that if we make an effort, we will survive, right? So where am I trusting only to be able to survive? And while you're doing that, where are you avoiding everything that would make you thrive? So think about that. Should I repeat the question? Where am I trusting <clears throat> only to be able to survive? And where am I avoiding everything that would make me thrive? See, we are intelligent, intelligent people. We know no, if I do like that, it will take me towards thriving. Right? But we avoid it. Yes, um, Shakti? Immediately in my mind, what is popping up is like, I'm finding wrongness, whatever I am doing. Yeah, so that will push you into thrive mode or the survive mode only? Survive mode. Because it's a judgment. Do you notice that? Yes. Yes. Now, what is the biggest downside of judgment mode? There is no allowance. Uh, and if there is no allowance? I cannot grow. Because you cannot see possibilities. Yes. Right? So the mind is not going where it can go. See, where should the attention be? Our attention is only on surviving. Na? Now, where can we put? So it's like a torch, you know. You can put it only on surviving or you can put it on what? How to thrive, right? We never ask this question. Na? How do I use my time to create more in my life? How do I use my time to create more in my life? More money, more choices, uh, more possibilities, more of everything in my life. More happiness, more peace, whatever it is that you want. So a lot of people become like turtle, you know. They say if you avoid everything, go in your shell, you will get peace. But is that thriving? You know, if you avoid everything and go in your room and keep on meditating all the time, is that thriving? Now, I'm not saying it's bad or something. I'm saying, all right, that is a tool to recover yourself. Meditation is a tool to recover your attention. But where would you like to focus it? On surviving or on thriving? So it's a good question to ask this morning, my dear friends. How do I use my time, my spare time or whatever, to create more in my life? More money, more possibility, more choice, more of everything. So one of the things that I did realize when I asked this question to myself, because whatever question I ask you, I ask myself also. So what I realized at that time was, my mind was going into more of this should not happen, this should not happen, this should not happen. You know, I should not lose the money I have. I should not lose my peace of mind. You know, people should not get upset with me. 
Now they should not tell me what is this new thing you are trying. People should not say, Ki, Are, what is the need for you to do this? Why can't you grow old gracefully? Aram se baitho na. Kyun phad phad kar rahe ho? So I will say that we are trying very hard to live a normal life. You know what we call normal life? So let me ask you a shocking question. If you got more money than you can imagine, would you try to live a normal life? <clears throat> Hello, that's a question. You're supposed to answer it. Yes, Reddy Garu. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Do. So is that the answer to my question or what? Yes, sir. Yeah, that is the answer, sir. I, I live a normal life. Yeah, so it's very interesting to know now what is the definition of normal life for most of the people. True. So, you know, we really want to look at what is my definition of a normal life? Your definition of normal life will be different from Priya's description of a normal life, right? Yes, sir. But mostly it will be survival only, na? Yeah. How to maintain little piece that I'm getting. Yeah. You know? Yes, sir. And how many times we avoid certain actions which will make you very happy. But your brain is saying, okay, no, 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 if I try that, no, there will be a lot of uh, argument and discussion. Mm -hmm. So leave it. Let yes. me be peaceful the way I am. Yeah. That also happens. So yes, Priya. Priya, oh Priya. Haanji. Sir, I'm just, I just wanted to ask, what is normal if you have a lot of money? You will you lead a normal life. So what is normal life? Uh, that is what for you, you have to answer that question. Aapka normal way hai na, jo aap jee rahi ho is water. Wo to turtle mode hai na, bhaag jau. So aapka normal yehi hai na, phir. Mm -hmm. I mean, yours is a very good example, you know. Because you were trying to survive in your job, so you played small and eventually you had to leave it. Right. Normal thing is to run away from difficult situation. See, today what is normal? Are you happy with what's happening with you? No, you're not. No, I'm not. Then what would make you not do anything about it? You've been at home for more than a month. Abhi ja ke application. So what were you waiting yes. for? Matkar to happen? No. I was resting. Uh, I was resting. I was recovering. That is normal, no? You may have to take a long time you know, so I should be resting no, for the next four days. Yeah, but just see, this is the way our wiring is. You don't have to blame yourself or judge yourself. This is what I call as normal. Normal for Asina ji will be different because of her definition of it, na? <clears throat> Normal for Kuren Saab will be difficult. Now, he was participating in some program somewhere. So, he must have come home at 12 o'clock at night. So, his normal is that on the other hand, somebody says that so what, we are at 2 o'clock in the morning, we So what is normal? 
Our normal is ki where your brain says, Haan, this is comfortable, I can do it. What is not normal? Creating possibilities. Because if you're pushing yourself to create more, right? To create more in your life, you'll have to get out of the comfort zone. Na? So how would you define a comfort zone? Let's ask Kune, what's, how would you really in detail define a comfort zone? What's a comfort zone? For me, comfort zone is uh, the zone or the my state of being where I have not been threatened or not getting any threat from anything, feeling safe without any pain. Yeah, so this is the background of it, correct? But what is the expression of it? Because of this thinking, what will be visible? अगर कोई कोनेन को ऑब्जर्व करेगा तो वो देखेगा क्या व्हाट वुड ही सी ही विल सी जस्ट बीइंग इन मोड ऑफ इनर्शिया रिलैक्सिंग नॉट स्ट्रिक्टली ट्रू और बीइंग अ बिट मोर हार्श ऑन योरसेल्फ आई थिंक दैट इज व्हाट यू वुड सी बट व्हेन यू लुक एट योरसेल्फ सी यू विल नोटिस दैट इन दैट सर्वाइवल मोड or whatever mode, comfort zone, mein, there is a certain type of thinking which happens, right? In our comfort zone, we don't want to think outside of that. And if you look at certain, so it is, comfort zone is all everywhere, mental, physical, emotional. Somebody's comfort zone is getting angry all the time. To intimidate others because uska formula hai, nahin, aise hota hai. so comfort zone is the way you think the way you behave the things that you do one of the great ways of finding out your comfort zone is how many things you avoid like for a lot of people comfort zone is in eating also you know that if you give them, I mean, let's say we've gone to a new place, a new type of food is over there and they want to eat only dosa. Have you met people like that? Like I met people, they will go in a big tour and they will carry their own cook and their own food also. And they will arrange with the hotel that no, 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 our cook will make our food. So wherever we go, we still want to be like that only. What do you call that? Like I was traveling in Gujarat once and staying in a beautiful resort and I saw that there were people, ladies who were swimming with full salwar kameez. At least they went into the water, no? It's very useful to look at, you know, sometimes all what we do. All the things that you will say no to, all the things you are not willing to try, all the things you are not even willing to think. Interesting, no? So I'll ask you another question here. Where are you creating your life as normal? and not as an infinite possibility. You know, day before yesterday, one lady called me up from Bangalore. I'm sure one of you must have recommended. And she says, sir, on 18th morning, we want you to come to Bangalore and conduct a training program. Okay. So what do you think my normal reaction would be? My normal reaction would be, Maab, re, you just come back after such a hectic trip and you'll be at home only for one day. And next day you have to travel to Bangalore for half a day. So I said, how many people will be in the program? She said, 250 people. 
Now what reaction will be? Oh my God, 250 people. That will take a lot of energy. Now I'm quite used to doing programs like that. That's not a problem. But after so many days and then going over there. So how much will you charge me, sir? So I said, I'll charge you. But well, normally I would charge 1,000 rupees per head. But for you, I'll charge only 2 lakh rupees. She said, okay. See, normally what would I have done? If I was being normal, I would say, no, no, sorry. No, it's too short a notice. I cannot come. Right? That is normal. Huh? How can I come? Today only I have come back. I have so many things to do. Day after tomorrow, how I can come? So where are you creating your life as normal rather than infinite possibilities? Where are where am I creating my life as normal rather than a source of possibilities? Children have a life of ease and joy because they are creating every moment of it. You know that? And we'll tell the kid, what is wrong with you? Why can't you stick to one thing? Yes, Shakti. Sir, most of the times, uh, what is stopping me is like, I'm giving excuse to myself, like uh, money is not, I don't have that much money, especially if it's money involved. Mm. Instead of how I can make it possible, I'm giving excuse. Okay, not this time. Let me first acquire whatever it required. That kind of excuse I'm giving because I first in first place I didn't have that intention how I can make that money. Instead of that, I don't uh, right now I don't have it, so let me postpone. Yeah. Because then, we don't operate like this. Now. How to make it possible? We don't think like that. Yes. First thing we think is why it is not possible. Mm. Instead of thinking. How to make it possible? See, that is the default mode, na? Yes. We call as normal is known as default mode. Normal. Mm. Ready, ready, normal. So, are you going to make yourself wrong for it? Is it bad that you're doing like that? No, you're just doing it. Yes. So now what? Just, just I need to drop it. I can. Yeah. See, the point is, it's very easy to identify why we are not doing and all that, right? But how does it help knowing why you are not doing it? I know people who are participating in one organization's program for 30 years. They are expert in telling you why they are not doing something. Mm -hmm. Then I ask them, okay, you know why you are not doing then Why don't you do it, Baba? It's a very good point you brought this discussion to because See, you have to make a choice, na? Yes. I'm having that awareness, but I'm not doing anything about it. You're not making a choice. You're trying to make a decision. Mm. And the only way, if you want to create life, is to make a choice. Because if you don't make a choice, nothing is going to change. And believe me one thing, guys. It is important to make a choice you know, whether or not you think it's going to work out or not. We don't make choices because our brain is saying, oh, no, no, how do I know it will work out? Okay. Many people don't apply for a senior position. They don't even send the application thinking, yeah, how do I know it will work out? How do you know you'll be alive tomorrow? Yeah. The other day we went to this Kaziranga, you know, uh, wildlife park, you know. And my, I saw my wife playing with the elephants and she was like a little child, you know, so happy, you know. 
So I told her, I said, yeah, one day you told me you want to go to Africa for a safari. So let's do that next year. Now I'm not very fond of safari and all, but I said, we'll do it next year. She said, yeah, there is a place called Serengeti. We'll go there. I said, yeah, sure, we'll go. She said, how much, you know how much it costs? 15 lakhs. I said, so? Get it? A lot of people will get this kind of idea. Let's do this and let's do that. And the moment they look at the cost, oh, how difficult it is to get there. They'll not do it only. What did they do? They bought something called no possibility. So where are you creating your life as normal rather than a source of infinite possibilities? Sounds nice, na? Huh? Early in the morning, oh, infinite possibilities. Very nice, very nice. But what will you so, create? So this is because of my limiting belief that my point of view, everything, right? I need to destroy that, right? Without destroying it, definitely it's like I'm keep looking into that. I'm in the loop mode. Again, I'm looking at... Yeah, that's exactly, that's what I'm saying. That's the normal thing for us people, isn't it? I mean, what if you made a choice? First, you make a choice. And then whatever negative comes up, you destroy it. But what we are trying to do is not making a choice because all the negative things are coming. Sure. Are you getting it? Yes. No, I got it, sir. You cannot make a choice. Yes. Thank you, sir. I got you, sir. Thank you. So if all of you look at this thing, we don't make choices because of what? Because we are afraid it will fail. Because we are afraid it might not happen and this and that, and then you keep on only thinking, 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 ultimately you go back to your normal life. So this great idea which comes, it stays there for half an hour and that's the end of the idea. See, the next step will not happen only. Na? Like some people say, okay, ah, I must get a good job because I need to get out of this house. These fellows are not going to let me live the way I want. I said, good. So go and get a job. Yeah, I will. I'm thinking about it. So why don't you apply? Why don't you speak to so-and-so? They will help you to get a job. After two months, you ask them, have you spoken to that person? No, I never spoke to that person. That's normal. So is it normal? Our normal is to live a no possibility life. What is the difference between rich and poor? I think uh, rich uh, being uh... The other day when we were talking about having the attitude of entrepreneurship that is looking for the possibilities. Okay, very nice. Say something more about it. Let's ask a few other people also. What, just say, say, say more, Kune. What's the difference between rich and poor? Uh, yeah, so that's what uh, coming to me so that uh, rich is always having the uh, entrepreneurship attitude, the mindset, uh, uh, looking for what else is. Explain what, what that means, entrepreneurship mindset. Kya hota kya? For a normal person, how we will understand that? Uh, a normal person, whatsoever is uh, the current situation uh, you are or we are in, uh, that is not the reality. More than that is always possible. So one has to keep on looking for what else is possible, what else I can do, what else I can get it. Yeah. You know, yesterday at the airport, we met this young couple. They must be around 32 or 33, something. All right. And they are from Bombay. So he was, he had, he, he is one of those serial startup fellows, you know. So we had made a startup, 200 crore company doing very well. Okay. And he said, no, 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 this is not what I want to do. So he sold everything and moved to Assam. And he's made a company over there, 
to use bamboo products, you know. So I asked him, why are you doing that? Because sir, the future is sustainability of the planet. So here is a guy who can give up a 200 crore very profitable business, retail, you know, their online sales, what I and he's starting all over again. That's entrepreneurial spirit, like what uh, Conan was saying. That's an example of that. We met this gentleman by the name of Dennis. Okay. 25 years ago, he went to Meghalaya, Chirapunji. He was working for an NGO called Indian Social Institute. Okay. And when he went over there, he said, Ki, oh, this place can thrive if there is a lot of tourism. But there is no place for a uh, good place for tourists to stay. So he built 25 years ago. Can you imagine in that hilly area how difficult it must be? And he's built this so beautiful resort, you know. And he's giving employment only to the local villagers around and doing a damn good job. That's entrepreneurial spirit. You know where that man is from? He's from Madurai. Tamilian guy from Madurai. He's sitting out there in uh, entrepreneurial spirit. Is a hotelier by qualification? No. But he's got one clear thing is called, I want to make a difference. Now he's expanding, he's growing. His son has opened a restaurant also. One son is working in Dubai. How do you like that? See, these are examples of what Kunan Sahib was saying just now. Now, everybody doesn't have to do such a big thing. They can do what they want. Yes, Shakti, and then after Shakti, Priya, after Sh Priya, uh, Shantiji, and then after that, oh, our old friend Janki, you win now. You win, yeah. Okay, Shakti. Yes, sir. Uh, most of the times, uh, poor people, it's like a blame the people, blame the circumstances. They are not willing to take responsibility. <clears throat> yes, but uh, rich people is uh, trying to take on responsibility as well as... It's like a me cost person. I know a lot of rich people who are mentally poor people. Have you met people like that? <clears throat> they have so much money, they don't know what to do with it. But their thinking is like that of a poor person. Have you met people like that? And you're thinking, yeah, you've got everything. Why are you behaving like a poor person? See, there are people who use their riches to expand and, you know, do more in life and grow more in life and help others to grow also. But at least they live their life fully, no? Bindas. But there are some who just want to, no, no, security issues is that Small life, big life, expansive life or a limited life. That's the difference, you think? between poor person and a rich person? Yes, Priya? What is it that you wish to say or share? I was saying people can be rich or poor based upon how they take actions. Sab log hai action lete, but kuch thrive karne ke liye lete, kuch metra survive karne ke liye. Haan, to usko to poor bolengi na, to survive karne ke liye lete rahte hai. Haan, so this is the difference. Which I think. जब तुम्हारे अंदर हुनर भी है, इंटेलिजेंस भी है और सब कुछ है और नहीं कुछ कर रहे हो, तो तो गरीबों वाला काम कर रहे हो ना? हाँ, so I'm being a गरीब right now. I mean, what's the difference between you and my maid who comes? There's one maid who's educated herself. I used to have a servant who educated himself. He's the head of the all the laundries of Radisson Group of hotels. And when I met him in 1972, right, he was studying, you know, the staircase was in the house. What type of thinking he must be having? Okay, this cannot be done, that cannot be done. Hey. We were they had a plan, they worked on it. Oh, he just went into action, maybe not even having a plan. He just said, Ki abhi mujhe pass karna hai bas. And once he does that, he said, I have to do my BCOM. He was only focusing on one step at a time. 
more what are we doing overthinking this will happen that will happen log kya sochenge what will people say what will people think what if i fail i will look stupid as it is people think i am stupid now they will think i am more stupid yes shanti ji sir uh, good morning sir <coughs> the rich people think that the problems are manageable it, it can be overcome right. poor mindset the poor mindset think that the problems are bigger than them they yeah. cannot they cannot solve that problem yeah so i know people who are sitting on top of property and business worth hundreds of crores but they are fighting like dogs with each other not talking to each other what kind of behavior is that <laughs> on the other hand i have seen poor people they have very little but they will share with their people you know so who's the real poor person or rich person think about it so we are, remember we are talking about thrive rather than survive in our life that is the topic let's not forget that so if you are going to limit your self if you cannot live by choices right you are only going to survive na whereas you have the means to thrive and believe you me the day you start making in choices in your life many more things will start happening you will feel happier you will be healthier and even the means will appear the thing is if you make a choice it doesn't make work out make another choice no problem kya hai yes sir abhinav ji uh sudipak so rich and poor a uh, lot of books has been written on it lot of thinking has gone into it and you know you have examples of people in us who when uh, you know those uh, million dollar prices and after 2 years they are back on the streets or yeah. after 3 years they are back on the streets yeah. so lot of uh, it's not such a simple question that there is a simple answer to it ki the rich are the one who has money and poor are the one who don't have money no, i think it is more like the context I mean, yeah yeah so i, I think it's more like uh, mindset me somebody mindset it's context is the poor man yeah 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 i think rich is the person you know who can take the responsibility for a quality of life of larger number of people or at least so you, his own quality of life he is bothered about at least, at least his own quality of life he can take responsibility for his own quality of life and and also the quality of life of lot many more people so there is so there are people who can like uh, you know very you know there are so many examples in my life I, i've seen people there was a guy in our company who was an account assistant and today he is you know like the managing director of company employing thousands thousands of people and and he is employed by the way not the owner so it's uh, because he took responsibility he could take he could take and it's all context contexted this i say uh, when it's written in all the religious books also by the way mentally jaisi bhavana ha mentally he was not limiting himself yes 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 yes, yes a lot yes, of people yes, with yes. lot of money i mean so much money they cannot imagine imagine yeah always limiting themselves in every situation yes 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 hai na yes yes so the question we have to ask is where am i limiting myself yes 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 see because i think this is so the book this is what happened when i you know my story is similar to priya's story you now when i joined this company where i'm still working they initially it was to make a difference and somewhere along the line it became survival Huh? मैंने कहा तो I, I said all my seniors all the they are everybody surviving so you know in a you know in a, uh, you know so in in this you know so after after one year I am also surviving and you know uh, you know what I got present to was when I joined you know uh, the time was that we were coming out of lockdown so it was very inspiring and motivating motivating for me. to increase the business of the company because that will lead to lot many people who are sitting at home all frustrated dukhi baithe hain kaam karte karte suddenly they are un stop and I mean, right now today i am present to you know there are you know four people who are employed in our company because i joined the company 
so i i'm present to that i'm present to that and that is what i'm going to focus on to increase the business not so that i become a hero in the market i become a hero in the company increase the business because more and more people can join the company so that would be an example of thrive rather than survive, survive. absolutely beautiful so that's where i want to leave you guys today let's start thinking how much of my time energy and attention is going on survival and how much is going on making choices and thriving yes kunen sir aksar log bolte hain ke uh ameeri ya garibi to bhagwan ke haath mein hai kismat jaisa hoga waisa hoga to like most of the people they say you know it's all about luck it's about uh, what's over uh, god is giving us well so, aapne ek purana hindi gana suna hoga i hope you remember the words mujhe aur abhinav ko bahut acha lagta hai mukesh ka gana hai kisi ki muskura hato anu ek gana uske words yaad hai किसी का दर्द ले सके तो ले आगे किसी के दिल में प्यार बिना इसी का नाम है आगे माना कि यार हम फकीर हैं मगर दिल के हम बड़े अमीर हैं यस यस बिकॉज यू कैन बी अ मिलेनियर बट योर माइंड इज लाइक अ मैजर and you are not doing anything with all that you know see god is so kind to these people that can create so much see i really admire people like ambani because they are creating so much they are creating wealth for themselves for sure but they are also creating jobs they are creating industries they are adding to the quality of life that is called you know the abundance mindset that's thriving they are helping so many people to thrive also they are also thriving they don't limit themselves Like you want to buy a house in UK, buy a house in UK. Yeah. You want to buy a house in Italy, you buy a house in Italy. But a lot of people, with all the wealth that they have, they don't use it to create anything in this world. Mm-hmm. So they are only surviving to preserve their wealth, to make sure nobody snatches it away. so think about it i mean these are not uh, i'm not here to give you advice think about it do you want to thrive or do you want to continue until only to live at the survive mode all right so let's bring it to a conclusion now we have 10 minutes for some shairi and all that and we don't have our tirkural person today but we do have kunen shahidi and we do have kamal dupare today so first kamal and then of course venkatesh if he wants to say some shairi is most welcome to do so also sir uh, just one minute sir yes yes narayan uh, major sir but we are really missing you but, uh, your answers was made uh, joyful because of shakti rama and also shanti i should say to, to a great extent yeah they were uh, they, they were uh, perfect replacements for you but yeah good good i'm so happy miss you sir we were missing you also all the while oh, oh thank you for that it makes me feel good yes sir so strive to survive and thrive to revive <laughs> somewhere i remember strive to survive and thrive to revive and hey. uh, and it is said that i thrive on obstacles if somebody told that it's a bit difficult then i i push myself harder i found uh, quite interesting and uh, we laugh to survive and then we with joy we thrive wow. we see, yeah we laugh to survive and then with joy we thrive so which means uh, one plus one doesn't make a two one plus one goes on to make four or five the joy of collective efforts collective wisdom which is an embodiment of emc sir so thankful to you for enlivening and enriching our every every day with powerful uh, words of wisdom sir thank you thank you sir thank you thank you they are not always my words but anyhow all right so kamal ji aapki bari uh, good morning all good morning 
Um, yes, sir, wonderful session. So you made us thought to do a self audit, basically on this time audit. So ये कुछ नो मैं भी इसी सिचुएशन से गुजर रहा था या मैं सोच रहा था कि नो अभी दो तीन पहले कुछ ऐसे था कि बहुत कुछ करना है बहुत कुछ मेरी हैबिट्स है विच इज आई वॉन्ट टू चेंज बट नॉट एबल टू चेंज ऑब्वियसली आई एम नॉट मेकिंग अ चॉइस और मैं क्यों नहीं कर पा रहा हूँ मुझे अभी तक नहीं समझ में आया है मतलब वाई एम नॉट मेक वाई एम नॉट एबल टू मेक अ चॉइस नो मे बी आई मीन माई कम्फर्ट जोन और माई माइंड इज नॉट अलाइंग और I am doing so many, so much of analysis or paralysis. You know, I am still in that uh, mode. So, I'm both here. And thank you for you know uh, letting us know about this. But uh, any tips you want to give, like if you are not able to make a choice and decision, what in which mode we are? Right? Survival mode, obviously. No, but we know it's a survival mode. But why not take part in this? No, what is that? Oh, where is? It's me, Kamal. क्यों सही से क्या होता है और द नाम थिंग ओके लेट इट बी लाइक दिस टाइम होते अपने आप आ जाएगा अरे मेक अ चॉइस ना आप बोल रहे होते हो इट्स लाइक यार मैं यू नो आई एम स्टैंडिंग बाय द साइड ऑफ द लेक हम यूज माय शूज आल्सो एंड आई एम नॉट पुटिंग माय फुट इनसाइड द वाटर एंड आई एम सेइंग कि बट मैं यू नो व्हाई एम आई नॉट पुटिंग द फुट इन द वाटर व्हाई एम आई नॉट पुटिंग द फुट इन द वाटर अरे बाबा पुट योर फुट इन द वाटर ना हाउ इज इट गुड हेल्प टू नो व्हाई आई एम नॉट डूइंग इट जस्ट डू इट ना कुछ चीजें करने से होती है ना तो मेक अ चॉइस क्या हो जाएगा इफ यू आर नॉट हैप्पी विद द आउटकम मेक अनदर चॉइस आवर प्रॉब्लम इज दैट वी आई मीन दिस इज समथिंग आई वांटेड टू टॉक अबाउट टुमारो एंड आई विल that we are so desperate to have some consistency in our life you know mm-hmm. but that jo meri ye nahi hai ki dagmagan na jaye you know my normal should not be disturbed mm-hmm. so wo consistency hilne ka dar itna hota hai humko ki hum choices nahi lete now we don't want this consistency to go away from our great life uh mm-hmm. One minute, ah, uh, Yuvina also wanted to say something, and she, I forgot. Yeah, Yuvin. Yes, sir. I'm here. I'm waiting for you to give a chance. Yeah, yeah. Good no, morning. Go ahead. Ah, uh, I recently um come across ah uh, came across this ah uh, quote. Many ah uh, people were dead as rich, but they were not. They did not lead a life. as rich so this made me to think a lot like everybody is running behind financial state finance status and uh, you know uh, a power packed person in the name of society and everything but uh, the richness is in the name of generosity well being humanity and uh, richness in the process of love richness in the process of um, you know empathy acceptance so these are the greatness for uh, you know these are the richness of uh, life yes so when you want to add to the growth of yourself and others sorry sir when you want to add to the growth of yourself and mm. others mm. See, that is richness yeah. right? yes sir yes So richness is not some place where you arrive. Yeah. It is a way to be. Yeah. Anna, that's what you are saying. Yes. So thank you very much yes, for that. Yes. Thank All you, sir. Kamal ji, let's have a share from you. The hardta hua share. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. Kamal ji, kya hua? Okay, sorry, sorry, I was on mute. Sorry. Uh, uh, what I'm saying, the hard work here is not, but some books are taking it. That the months have passed, the books have not done. The months have passed, the books have not done. Not know who has been left. Oh wow! I will ask Unen to do the translation of this one. Or Venkatesh, anybody? I will ask Venkatesh. 
ages have years. passed ages have passed without taking into account anything and i don't know what use i have for, towards others okay great thank you very much kamal thank you very much vengadesh and kunen your turn thank you sir uh, do shayari yaad aa rahi hai ek to janki uh, i like the janki's uh, अर्ज क्या है कि जिंदगी में बस दिलों को जीतने का मकसद रखना जिंदगी में बस दिलों को जीतने का मकसद रखना वरना दुनिया जीत कर तो सिकंदर भी खाली हाथ गया था दुनिया जीत कर तो सिकंदर भी खाली हाथ गया था और दूसरा शेर जो याद आ रहा है सर वो कमल जी की बात सुन रहा था कि जिंदगी रोती रही है जिंदगी की तलाश में जिंदगी रोती रही है जिंदगी की तलाश में और जिंदगी को जिंदगी की हसरतें फना कर गई वाह 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 ये है जिंदगी में बस दिलों को जीतने का मकसद रखना वरना दुनिया जीत कर तो सिकंदर भी खाली जिंदगी में बस दिलों को जीतने का मकसद रखना वरना दुनिया जीत कर तो सिकंदर भी खाली हाथ गया था अदरवाइज सिकंदर इज आई मीन इज अ नेम नो सिकंदर नो 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 बट हु इज ही इन इंग्लिश वी कॉल हिम व्हाट अलेक्जेंडर 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 एंड अलेक्जेंडर आल्सो वांटेड टू विन गेट द होल वर्ल्ड बट ही आल्सो वेन ही आल्सो डाइड एम्प्टी हैंड जिंदगी को जिंदगी की हसरतें फना कर गई उटिंग Uh, time and uh, we have this body and uh, richness is having peaceful mind and a healthy body that is not prompting you about a uh, lot of pains and other things and all you have this like take care of your health and all and be have a peaceful mind that is not disturbed by lot of problems that's the richest feeling one can have then you can do all the things you want <laughs> wants to that's it wonderful so guys have a wonderful day ahead enjoy yourself god bless you see you tomorrow morning yeah bye sir good day uh, sir bye uh, god, bless. god bless everyone be safe is blessed